We need the fade out button. Yeah, we do need uh, the fade out button. It does work on that looper though. Need welcome back to Anderton's <laughs> TV. Who doesn't like to start the day with a couple of old duffers like me and Pete? Blue games <laughs> with one or two jazz licks thrown into it because <laughs> that's what we do best. <laughs> and speaking of old duffers, <laughs> um, duffers, the 1959 <laughs> Les Paul. It wasn't really a duffer, was it? The, the 1959 Les Paul. Arguably no, it's not. the most iconic electric guitar in rock is it though? history. I mean, is it though? Probably. I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. I'm, the, just, I'm poking a bear. I'm poking a common sex in bear that's going. I mm. think if you look back yeah. at what vintage guitars sell um, for, no, yeah, the 59 Les Paul sits above Still, anything else. It's half a million now. Yeah. 250,000. Yeah, and, and you don't even. It doesn't need. It doesn't, I find that down behind the sofa, man, these days. It doesn't even I'm need so to have any providence. It doesn't matter if, you know, even if nobody famous owned it. Yeah. If you've got. An original 1959 Les Paul hidden in your loft. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's a house, so, man. Anyway, um, a few years ago, uh, back in the pre-COVID days of Namsty. Pre-COVID um, is dangerous, isn't it? Me and Pete did a, a video of, of this guitar, which maybe you can see in the description. It'd be quite old now. Pete and I will probably look young and fresh. Um, but uh, they did a, um, an Epiphone hard. 1959 Les Paul. Yeah. They used a, 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 a sort of a satin finish. It was like Epiphone's version of the VOS finish. Yeah. They loaded it up with uh, all the good stuff. So you had a uh, burst bucket USA pickups. You had all the CTS pots and the Mallory caps and the wiring Mallory. and all that kind of stuff. Mallory. <laughs> um, anyway, and it was really, really popular. Yes. Uh, but in 2024, they've kind of finally, finally, finally. I mean, this is what this. Finally, yeah. well, That's you know what, what this we... is what this is what everybody moaned about when these were launched. It's yeah. like, why can't my Epiphone Les Paul just have a proper Les Paul head? I tell you what, though, people are still going to moan about. It. Well, probably because it's it, it's these guys, isn't it? So <laughs> yeah, so the new one, which yes. Pete is playing, has yeah. had a couple of sexy upgrades. Okay, so yeah. uh, I mean, the headstock. Noticeably. All right, so the headstock is now officially uh, the correct. That's great shape. I love that. Fine. Perfect. Perfect shape pattern. Finally. Uh, there's been an enormous upgrade on the pickups, certainly cost-wise. Who knew that pickups could get so expensive? So the, these are uh, Burst Bucker pickups, which you get typically on a, a standard USA Les Paul. Uh -huh. These have custom buckers, which you can't get on a Gibson unless, unless you go you custom get... shop. Uh, you can buy these pickups as aftermarket kind of pickups, if you like. And a, a set of Burst Buckers yeah. are about 300 quid a pair. So that's what's in here. Cool. A set of custom buckers are, are over 500 pounds, nearly yeah. 600 pounds a pair. It's like, holy mother of moly. So this is a big price upgrade, if you like. That's that. a lot of money. I'm about to tell you how much that is, and I'm waiting for you to uh, drop your cups of coffee. Because, yes, it's been a big old price rise, yeah. too. Some of it is, you know, inflationary. Some of it's because the parts have been upgraded. Yeah. And some of it actually is a perceived price increase just purely and simply because at the moment, Actually, the recommended retail price of the guitar I've got in my hands is nearly a thousand pounds. Yeah. Um, so, and the new one is eleven ninety nine. So, from recommended retail, the price rise is only about two hundred pounds, which, which is, I think which is, is kind of which fair is fine enough. these days. The issue with these is now that these have been announced as discontinued or whatever, you can pick these up from Andertons, and I'm actually this is a pretty good bargain, <laughs> yeah. right? For seven fifty. So actually, there's a there's a that that price rise is probably harder to justify, or price difference, yeah. sorry, harder to that's justify. More, that's but, more what you would expect that guitar to cost, right? But it, what, Well, what, is what do we days? say? Like 1,200 is the new 500 now in this post-COVID <laughs> uh, crazy, everything's gone up no, so Fredo much. Was like, um, Fredo is five pounds now, isn't it? It used to be 50p. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, look, I don't really need to play this guitar anymore because this is the old one. Although, as I say, there are still a few of these in stock if you want Absolutely. to grab one. Absolutely, it's a great uh, This came in so. two Fun. colors. They'll both be on screen. Now, no. but that's not what we're talking about. No, we're talking about this guy. Yeah, so, and actually what we will do, Pete, is through your rig, we'll just try the two Cs. So let me tell you, let me give you the blurb, 1959 Les Paul Standard. If you're not a massive Les Paul fan, uh, the 59, uh, I guess, became iconic. It, 58, so you saw the first bursts on a Les Paul, but they had the, the sort of the, the fatter, chunkier necks. 59 had the slightly slimmer neck, which I think, generally speaking, although it's, you know, some people prefer the 58, but more people, I think, prefer the 59. 
They also in 59 started to use the flame top. So 58, the tops were generally plain and maple. 59, they went to yep. the flame tops. Mm -hmm. So I suppose that's, you know, they looked beautiful. The burst was still fairly new. The neck was a little slim. I think that's why the 59 became iconic. Obviously, it's had tons and tons of famous players use yeah. it over the year. And then crazy, crazy, right? In 1960, Gibson just went, oh, you know what? This Les Paul thing in burst doesn't seem that popular. Let's just stop making them. So there, there were very few of these guitars actually ever made, which has obviously driven the price right up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. so let me give you the spec. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Made in collaboration with the Gibson Custom Shop, the 59 Les Paul, Epiphone 59 Les Paul standard is Epiphone's incredible recreation of the rare vintage classic. We've got a mahogany body, obviously, maple top. Um, so the veneer, tri AAA veneer, um, the AAA flaming on there is from a veneer, obviously on a, on a proper uh, American-made Gibson, it would be a, the actual maple itself yeah, yeah. would be the Sack same. Sack veneer. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry. Uh, one piece a mahogany ball. neck uh, with the 59 sort of, you know, rounded C profile. Long neck, 10 on, Gibson style, open book R9 headstock shape. So that's what we, we mentioned at the beginning. This vintage original sheen kind of finish. Gibson custom bucker humbuckers, Switchcraft selector switch, uh, CTS pots, 50 zero wiring, Mallory capacitors, non beveled pick guard, oh, Epiphone yeah. deluxe vintage tuners with the keystone buttons, and a vintage style brown case with the pink inside, which we will no show you. No blanket, though. I don't know. No, 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 no. We need, now we've had the headstock back. Yeah. Now we need the blanket back. Um, That's the next. <laughs> some other bits just reading down the spec here. Again, you can go and get all of the actual um, dimensions and stuff of the neck if you want to, but it's got a graph tech nut. I'm a little surprised. Oh, I'm, I'm, also, I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Back, yeah, so I, think, so I look, think that's... We've still... I mean, that's right across the Epiphone range. We're still using Laurel. I mean, yeah. we, people got a bit disappointed again on the, the David, um, Dave Grohl. Yeah. You know, but... I think, I think they, that's What should, am I doing? Well, you're doing I'm doing the, I'm doing the what, don't shoot me dance. Yeah. It's, it's not, um, it's not your fault. It's, it's not your fault, but it is, it, they could have done it, man. You yeah. know, it, maybe you they get, will. Maybe they've just got mountains of laurel that they need to well, get to. There's no through. excuse. There's they no can excuse. have a fire and, and um, put, make some sausages. Uh, bridge is the ABR1. Uh, tailpiece is the Gibson Historic Reissue Stop Bar. We talked about the yeah. uh, tuners, didn't we? Yeah. So there we are. Oh, and three colors, sorry. Three colors now, which will be on screen. Factory Burst, Tobacco Burst, and Ice Tea Burst. Uh, that's our tea. That's the tobacco. Uh, tobacco burst. That is the only one we actually have at this point, and that's the that's the right on day one. I think that's the only colour that you're going to find in stock anywhere in Europe, and then the other two colours are coming mm. um, in the next few weeks. Check our website because that will give you the ETA of anything that's out of stock. So, Mr. Pete. Yes, Mr. Lee. Come on then. Yeah. Take us uh, through some time. And while you're down there checking the website, please like and subscribe as well because you win some stuff every ten thousand. Oh, every ten thousand subscribers. Yes. <gasps> Wow, bigger prices, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, here am I, here, here, here I am, plugged into here a I deputy. Go again. Here we go again, completely on my own. I <laughs> wish I was on my own, but I'm, I'm fortunate not. Here's a G chord. I've got a compressor, I've taken it off. It's got a nice ring without. And you know, it's, it's, it's kind it's of in tune, man. You know, for Gibson, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> it just feels nice. I mean, there's nothing, it's a satin finish neck. Uh, sorry, dude, uh, but no, do, you th do you think mm. they've made an effort to try and stain the laurel to look a bit more rosewood I think rose so, because I actually looked at it and I thought yeah. it was rosewood. I mean, we've only got it's not like we've looked at a hundred different guitars here, but obviously this is the old one and you can see the laurel is that sort yeah. of paler brown. And then obviously when you see rosewood on this guitar, it's a, it's a darker brown. It's not yeah. necessarily the grain is ever that different. It is just that sense of it looks a bit paler. Yeah. It does look darker. I, I must say, we haven't actually talked about this product for years, but we sell thousands of pots of this every year. There's a Monty's yeah, Monty Relic espresso. Wax. Uh, which again we'll put in in the links yeah. uh, below. You you buy a little pot of wax, like a shoe polish type pot. You get your little hanky and you you sort of you just take the strings off and you you rub this sort of uh, wax yeah, yeah. in. Keep rubbing. And it, and, um, it has a, a darkening sort yeah, of yeah. as well as nourishing the the wood. It will uh, each time you apply it, the wood will go a little darker. So actually you can achieve sort of some nice darker browns yeah, yeah, on, on a, like a laurel or a pow ferro fretboard. Exactly. Or anyway, um, I digress. You, you do. 
It's the middle position. Sounds good. It does sound it good. It sounds great. There's nothing, it plays nice, it's nicely set up, it's, you know, there's all the same things that you, you, you know. It, what have you, uh, what have you done? That was, we haven't done bridge yet, have we? No. Let's do, do a little, play, play with yeah, the knobs a little play bit. play with the knobs. I've only got two. So dial, dial down the neck pickup on the bridge. I like that. I like to do that. tones I get from sort of mixing in the taking down the tone control on the on the bridge. Oh. It's so weird that <laughs> I, I think so many guitar players, doesn't matter what guitar you've got, so many guitar players just use the volume Full control way. for on and off. Like all yeah. the way on, all the way off. And yet there's so much to explore in there. Yeah. And it really does have make an enormous difference to the I will even I will even say I when we do the what? Mm -hmm. huh? Hello. When we do the video the strat versus telly, I'm I'm going to show you that I can get a telly to sound very close to a strat using the middle position, tone control and volume. He's gonna do that. Yeah. He likes I'd to love do that. to do that. Not just like it, I love it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love to do that. Uh, okay, bridge. <laughs> Nicely balanced, you know. They're good pickups, so but they should be for five hundred yeah, exactly. and five hundred fifty quid. That's the Dane, nothing else. Cali seventy six on top or into. It's just great guitar. Uh, maybe a little bit more good, just because. The Dane into the protein green side. Oh, wow. Boom. Boom shaka, man. It sounds great, dude. <laughs> I, I really like that. Okay, right, let's just do some science. Let's do some science. Uh, let's play the same thing with the same sounds, one after the other, uh, and see oh. the difference between this guitar, this guitar, and this guitar. So let's start with this guitar. Mm, no, let's go in price order. Let's go, price let's order. say the cheapest one, the newest one, and then the dearest one. Team's one, uh, one, news one, news so this one. is this is hyper scientific. Uh, Absolutely. Maybe close your eyes. Just isn't. We'll stop talking and we'll cut this together so that it just goes bop, 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 and then you'll hear it. So, Which pickup? Excuse well, me. Well, let's let's go. <laughs> let's go. Neck, middle, bridge, 
and then finish with a bit of distortion on the, but turn the compressor off so that it's, there's no, no pedals. There we go. <laughs> These two are definitely closer. It's funny, isn't it? There, there was quite a significant jump in how uh, sort of fat it sounded when yeah. you went from this guitar to that Absolutely, guitar. Absolutely, yeah. And then bizarrely, what I thought as well on the Overdrive channel, they sounded more compressed as well. Yeah, more, like a little bit quieter than that one. Maybe. But I prefer that because it's more of a of a sort of. <laughs> That's the um, um, green, blue, <laughs> green side of the protein. I mean, relatively speaking, what's one of these now? Five times the price of yeah, that? Yeah, six, like six, nine or something, isn't it? So something like that, isn't it? So, uh, yeah. It almost seems louder than this one for mm. some reason. There's more in it, isn't it? If you look, the pickups are wound. They are quite high on, quite on this one, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. That will make, make sense. But I tell you what, although, it's very dynamic. Again, they're not. These are pretty much exactly Second, the same, same height as, as these but two. But that would be the yeah, fact where they make that, those, but, right? I think that's a good upgrade. I mean, I'm a bit, I'm a bit Gibson, a little bit disappointed that it's not rosewood, but not, you know. But well, I mean, my gut thing is right now you've got, you've got, I suppose options are all the time. There's these are still available from retailers, and retailers are exactly. discounting that's them down to the sort of seven fifty. You could get one of these. You could change these pickups out for anything you like. You know. Uh, you've obviously still got to settle for the fact that you've got an old school style Epiphone headstock, but it's a great guitar. I mean, Absolutely. Once these are gone, you know, that, I think that is, this is part of Epiphone's mission statement. That Evolution. They said last year, yeah. which is, you know, they are, they're pushing all the specs yeah. of the top of the range Epiphone yeah. stuff into that mm -hmm. sort of, you know, thousand to 1500 pound bracket. They're loading them up with more American spec stuff. It's just, it's just where they want to go with the brand, you know. Yeah. It's, it's uh, somebody said I, I thought it was kind of interesting and sort of semi humorous, but and, and, and you know, semi truthful as well. It's almost like if they push Epiphone up into that sort of pro type price mm -hmm. bracket, there almost needs to be another Gibson brand to sit underneath Epiphone. Well, for maybe all that's the people what that, that can't afford. Maybe but, that's what they're doing. I don't know. I haven't shown you the inside of the case yet. Would you Would you mind holding this? Oh, for of course me I minutes? would. Thank you. All. I like these sort of. Um, uh, brushed aluminium sort of style or steel, brushed steel kind of mm. latches and stuff looks nice. Got a lot that's a lot on there as well. Lushing. Oh, it's certainly pink. Woo! And what do we get with Good it? Good things are pink inside. Oh yeah, just loads of stickers and stuff. Stuff like that. Looks nice. Decent quality case. Yeah. But we need to now, in the we price. need to campaign for bringing back, Bring blanket, back now. the blanket. Did Hashtag we actually win that campaign? No, we never did. We didn't. We no. need to get some hats done. BB. TB. 
Bring back the blanket. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, look, that's it. Let's jam out. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. You should jam uh, out yes, on this guy. Uh, the uh, this new fifty nine Les Paul has been launched on the day of the video, so. Yeah, you should be able to find these in yeah. retailers now. Obviously, if you live in the UK or anywhere near Guildford, please support Andertons. And if you want to save a bit of dust, then buy one of these. Yeah. You be, know. be quick, though. There's not many of those left. No. Two different colours of those, but not many left.